What's going on Hypebeast fam? It's Ari Petru here and this video is going to be my personal top 5 Hypebeast cops of 2017. I'm going to show you some Yeezys, some Supreme, some Gucci, some really really hyped up stuff so make sure you stay tuned for that. If you are new to my channel I am holding a Yeezy giveaway. I'm going to be giving away either the blue tint belugas, that's not a thing. If you are new to my channel I just want to let you know that I am giving away a pair of Yeezys when this channel hits 50k so make sure you subscribe down below and get me to 50k. You do have to be following me on Instagram as well, which is at Ari Petru. I'm gonna leave a little screenshot here and I'm gonna leave a link down below. So make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram to win them Yeezys. Okay, so now let's get into my top five Hypebeast cops of 2017. Slide one. I just broke my lens. How are that, mate? Okay, so cop number one. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. <laughs> So one of my favorite cops of this year was this Gucci X Coco Capitan hoodie. Pipe Beast also posted something about it. It was one of their top 10 collaborations of the year. X Coco Capitan, which is actually an artist, and Coco Capitan's actually done a lot of work that you've probably seen. He also did. She. Is it a she? Yes. No, it's not. Oh, wait, mate. Gucci is just being like, everyone's wearing it to the point where I literally feel. That Gucci is now hyped, so I'm just gonna put it in the video that Gucci. Ow, bro, I ruined my video. Anyway, I'm gonna say that Gucci is hyped, and this is one of my favorite collabs of the year Gucci X Coco Capitan. This is another piece I have from the collection Gucci fake logo, and it says, Tomorrow is no. Right, what? Tomorrow is now yesterday. I have no clue what it says. Anyway, I have another piece as well, but it's actually in the dry cleaners because it got so dirty. But I'm gonna post up a picture here of the other piece. It's the white t-shirt, the white logo tee. I actually bought that in Miami for like $600, which is so much more than what it is in the UK, but it's completely sold out everywhere. So the only place they had it was in Miami when I was in Miami, so had to cop. But yeah, that was Hypebeast cop number one. Okay. On to pick up number two. Cop number two is the Easy Way Run. For me, this shoe is like my favorite shoe of the year, 100%. I was waiting all year for it pretty much since I saw Kanye wear it. I've said this before when I actually picked these up. This shoe, I think it's like a granddad shoe, but it's kind of cool. Like, no one really has them in the UK either because they were US release only. This is cop number two. Personally, best shoe of the year. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, the geezer Ben McLean mate. It's New Year's Eve tonight, so uh, yeah, all my friends are around. I'm trying to film this video and it's absolutely impossible with all of them distracting me. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna get a firework and throw it at their face. Like this. I'm gonna get a rocket and go, oh, no! <laughs> Yeah, my second favorite pickup of 2017. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so number two on the list is the Easy 700s. Piss off! <laughs> Okay, so number two on the list was the Yeezy 700s. Bye, mate. Next up on the list, number three. The Supreme Full Winter 17 box logos. Here's the black with the neon color. Here's the red on the purple. The purple on the red. And I'm wearing the neon orange on gray. For me, these full winter 17 bogos were pretty sick actually. For everyone else, they were absolutely horrible. So many people didn't like them. At me at first, I was like, uh, what color am I gonna go for? And when I started seeing them in hand, I was like, well, that color's quite cool. Actually, that color looks quite good. And then on the drop day, I actually went for this one, the orange on the gray, just because it was easy and I can wear it all the time. Over time, I've just started to pick up more colors and more colors, so. Yeah, that's number three on the list, the Full Winter 17 Supreme Box logos. Out of the three colors I have here, I have the, the purple with the red, the black with the neon, and I'm wearing the orange with the gray. I think I'm gonna say that this is my favorite one. I just posted a picture in this on Instagram, but like, 14, 15K likes in one hour, dude. That is like insane for me. So yeah, I think this is my favorite one. Not just because of the Instagram likes, but because it's black. Like obviously this is gray and it's a neutral color as well, but because it's black, I'm gonna wear it all the time. This neon just pops like crazy. Yeah, I think this is my favorite one. See you later, mate. This is the dead red one. Bye, mate. And next on my list, number four. This item, I 100% had to have it on my top five hype piece list of 2017. It is the TNF 
Supreme Baltoro jacket. Okay, so this 100% makes it on the list because... <laughs> Okay, so this 100% makes it on the list because I've been looking for a winter jacket for the longest time. Stop now, I can't do it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Trying to find the TNF Leopard Supreme jacket, but it goes for around two to two thousand five hundred pounds. Anyways, when this jacket dropped, I didn't get it for retail. Unfortunately, I had to pay. I think I paid one thousand one hundred pounds for this jacket outside the store, and then I paid one thousand and fifty pounds for John Carlo's one, Blazing Derry. And we did the sickest double pick. I'm gonna pop that picture up here. So shout out to the geezer from the States, man, like Blazing Derry kicks. And yeah, this definitely makes on to my top five Hypebeast pickups of 2017. Look how far it will look when I go skiing. Look at it, look. Hello, geezer. Okay, so as you can see, I'm wearing the Supreme X Louis Vuitton box logo. Going on my list purely because the whole experience was just insane. The fact that Supreme and Louis Vuitton even did a collaboration is just like, it's unreal, dude. Like, Supreme is Supreme. It's a skate brand from New York. And Louis Vuitton is Louis Vuitton from Paris. It's crazy, high-end, luxury, like, super brands. The other fact is, I was first into the store. I'm lucky enough to be located in London and someone did tell me the address early. Shout out to the plug. I was second in the queue but I got in the store first but whatever, first, second, doesn't really matter. I actually copped the biggest L you could ever think of. You were only allowed two items, right? You were only allowed two clothing items and two accessories or whatever. I didn't really think it was going to resell that much. Like I knew it was going to resell but I could have got the leather jacket. You know the leather jacket? I'm going to pop up a picture here of this geezer wearing it. I would have made like 5K on that jacket, but instead I walked out of the shop and didn't even buy it. And it's not because I didn't have the money to buy it. It's because you only could get two items and I bought the hoodie and the t-shirt. And that was it. And I walked out. Biggest L ever. Luckily I managed to get one backpack, the Christopher backpack, which I did make a lot of money on. I managed to get that, but in the store like i just didn't know any of it was gonna sell like as crazy as it did so i could have made like tens of thousands and i really in all fairness i didn't actually make that much because i ended up keeping this t-shirt that's the top five list over but i did want to show you guys some things that i thought were super cool but didn't quite make the list so one of the little things that i want to show you is a supreme accessory and it is <laughs> it's this supreme deck it's absolutely swag i just think the details on it are insane that's number one uh, it is a collab, Supreme Akira or something like that. So it's a super cool collab. And uh, yeah, that's one of the little things. The other little thing I, I want to show you guys was actually sent to me. And um, this is super, super cool. Check this out. Another cop I made in 2017 that didn't quite make the list, but I think I have to show you guys is get it out the Jordan 4 paws is an insane shoe the materials on it are absolutely crazy and uh, yeah had to show you that very last thing that didn't quite make the cut is the most iconic supreme accessory ever the money gun if you don't have a money gun, I do not know how you're a hype beast. You need to cop one, 100%. I don't ever really use it apart from just messing around in these videos, but honestly, the money gun was so fun when it came out. It came out at the beginning of the year, and honestly, it was so cool. Yeah, that's the last little item that didn't make the top five. I just wanted to show you a few little sick cops that I made this year that weren't quite top five, but I thought I just had to show you them. Okay, so that was my top five hype beast cops of 2017. Just wanna say before I outro this video that 2017 has been the craziest year of my entire life. The amount of success, the amount of things I achieved this year was just insane and it was all down to everyone who supported me on Instagram from day one or even just followed me after Kofi's video, which I honestly, I so, so appreciate Kofi for that. We got like 2.1 million views on that video and it completely exploded my brand or my 
account, my personality, or whatever you want to call me, it completely exploded me. Thanks to the fireworks outside, next week I'm going to purchase the most crazy purchase of my entire life. I'm going to get into my story and how I achieved that in that video, so make sure you watch that video. It is coming very, very soon. I'm going to outro this video right now. I'm going to say make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and get me to 50k so I can give away those Yeezys to one of you lucky people. Follow me on Instagram as well. I'm going to leave that link down below. And I hope that all of you guys smash 2018. I'm going to smash it with you guys. Let's get it. I love you all. Peace out.